Welcome back to more Summoner's War Monster Strategies. Today we're going to be looking at the Light Harpoon known as Sia. Sia is a pretty good monster. Not amazingly useful, you know, if it's even a word amazingly, as Colleen. But pretty good. Just like the Dark one too, you know, both the Dark and the Light have pretty good use. Because they're not bad, like the damn Water Harpoon. But anyway, the stats as a level 46 star are as follows. 9,225 HP, 670 attack. 527 defense and 105 speed. Also, um, the interesting thing to note is that this monster, I believe, has the low. No, no, never, never mind, I just looked at it, never mind. I was about to say that this monster has the lowest speed out of all the harpoos, but Serene actually has a bit less. Yeah. But yeah, 105 speed. That is among the lower end on the harpoo speed, but whatever, you know, 105 speed is still actually pretty good, so it's whatever. It is whatever. Anyway, the skills are as follows. The first one is Blackout Kick, which has, performs a Ruthless combo, kicking the enemy two times. Each attack has a 50% chance of decreasing the enemy's attack power for two turns. The second skill is Shriek. Unleashes a Piercing Scream, stunning the enemy and inflicting continuous damage for three turns. This skill receives 50% additional accuracy. And the third one, Great Friends. Attacks the enemies randomly six times by bringing out your friends and decreases the attackage by 20% with each attack. This skill is, um, it's not an amazing third skill, it's really not, as you can see, but, uh, it's pretty good. The main reason why is because it, it attacks randomly, and that's always a problem. Random attacks are just not consistent, and because of that, you can't make too good of a use with them in the end game, as opposed to, you know, AoE attacks. But as you can see, each one can lower it by a 20%. So, it's actually pretty good, it is, it's just that other monsters that have AoE, you know, ATB decreasing, are generally better off, you know, even like, let's say, Ellen, the three-star Amazon, you know? But whatever. The point is that it, she's a pretty good monster, just not an amazing monster, okay? Let's just say that. This move is also pretty good, because, you know, it can stun, and inflict DOT for three turns, and it receives additional accuracy already. That's pretty good. And then this one, you know, of course, it's an attack break like any Harpu. So it's actually a pretty good combination of debuffs. It really is, and that's why she is a pretty good monster. So what you want to do for runes are as follows. Either swift or violent, you know, like any debuffer, with focus. You want high accuracy. And you want to put speed in slot 2, HP in slot 4, and then either HP or accuracy in slot 6. Here's the thing, though. Some people claim that you should not put... A huge amount of accuracy because her second skill already has pretty good accuracy so if you're putting a focus set and an accuracy in slot 6 people will say that's too much of an overkill but then others will say that well that 50% additional accuracy is only for one skill so you still need a lot of accuracy for uh, skills 1 and 3 so that's their thinking and honestly I don't know which way is better I really don't know but the point is you do want at least a pretty decent amount of accuracy you know at least 50% that way the second one will have 100% accuracy. But, like, you know, if you go beyond that, people say that you're wasting accuracy for the second one, but you're technically not. You know, it's better for the first and third skill. So either way it works. You know, the point is, give her high speed, high HP, and high accuracy. And actually, those three stats are actually what you should be working on for self-stats as well. So there you have it. Her main focuses are speed, HP, accuracy with either Violent or Swift for getting additional turns, whatever you want, really. So, there really is not much else to say about Sia. As you can see, she's a pretty good monster, pretty good debuffs. As far as places where she works well, I mean, TOA can work well, but then again, like I said, it's random. The third skill attacks randomly, unlike other monsters that just decrease ATB consistently, you know, that are AOE. So that would be the issue. But, you know, she can also stun, good for uh, TOA. You know, DOT, good for TOA as well, you know? inflicting any type of break. I mean, she has good debuffs. She does. That's why she can work pretty well for several Kairos dungeons and TOA. PvP, I'm not entirely sure, because it's random, like I keep saying, and that's kind of strange sometimes. But anyway, if you have any recommendations for runes, go ahead and leave a comment. I am sure that people would appreciate seeing different combinations of runes if you have had some success with those runes. Also, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, shape, or form, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time.